Topping today's news, early into the new year and gun violence continues to wreak havoc in society as a couple was shot dead today on Prince Charles. The official opposition deputy leader Cartwright calling on the government to do more in the fight against crime. We begin to gear up to host the IAAF World Relays and the U.S. Embassy continues its Just Road 242 initiative. <laughs> Good evening, Wahamas. I'm Jerino Saunders. This is your JCN Evening News. It is a pleasure to have you join us. Just three days into the new year, and the Bahamas is on its fourth murder, following what appears to be a double homicide today on Prince Charles in the eastern area of New Providence. Chief Superintendent Chrislyn Skippings gives more details on what transpired on the scene. As far as shortly before noon today, a shooting incident occurred here on Prince Charles Drive. Information received is that a gray Nissan Cube occupied by an adult male and female were traveling west along Prince Charles Drive when a gold Nissan vehicle pulled alongside. It is reported that three males emerged from the gold vehicle, all of whom were armed with firearms and fired multiple gunshots into the gray Nissan Cube, which resulted in both the driver and his female passenger being shot multiple times. They were both pronounced dead on scene. Chief Superintendent Skippings alludes to her point that crime starts at home. I want to say to persons and family members who know that their family members are involved in criminal activity. I want to caution you and to let you know if you fail to partner with the police, if you fail to partner with the police, you could very well be a victim because you are in the company of your children who are involved in criminal activities. And so you need to come forward and provide us with the intel. I also want to say that the person in question was also a suspect in the $1 million robbery that occurred at the ending part of last year. As investigations continue, police say if you know there is someone that is possibly after you that can cause harm to you, they are suggesting that you contact the police for assistance. Last year, the Royal Bahamas Police Force introduced more saturation patrols and closed-circuit television cameras around the island to help alleviate the violent crimes. Superintendent Skippings tells our JCN News team that saturation patrols are producing good results, but more assistance is needed from civilians. I can say that the saturation patrols are working, and if you were following the crime trends in the past few days, most of the incidents that occurred moments later moments we were able to apprehend suspects and firearms recovered and so saturation patrols are working again the officers remain firm they remain resolute and we remain dedicated to the fight against crime what we ask of the Bahamian people in this new year to make one of your new year's resolution to partner with the police also to take control of your homes Make it a priority to discipline your children and instill good values and morals in your children so that they don't escalate to these sorts of situations. Also, if you don't have the skills needed to resolve conflicts, we're asking you, reach out to the police department, reach out to social services, reach out to your churches, any organization. Chief Superintendent Skippings also highlights that the modern day criminals seemingly have no regard for human life or authority almost seems like persons have disregard for law and disregard for human life. And so we're very, very concerned and that's why you hear us make the appeal. If parents, and I go back to it, if parents instill the values and morals in their children, if they ensure that their children and their homes are policed by responsible adults who are setting the right example for their children, 
Once children respect parents and persons inside the home, they will invariably respect law and order and persons in society. Because a lot of persons, and not, when I say a lot, I don't mean 99.9% of the Bahamian people are law-abiding citizens. But you have that small fraction of persons who have children who don't respect parents. If children are not respecting you, they're not going to respect the laws of the land and they're not going to, resp they're not going to respect adults. That was Police Press Liaison Officer Chief Superintendent Chrislyn Skippings. The Royal Bahamas Police Force continues its relentless fight against crime and is again seeking the public's help in locating a suspect wanted for murder. The police are hoping to question 38-year-old Laron Knowles of Blue Hill Heights about a recent murder. Knowles, pictured here with dreadlocks, is described as having a brown complexion but his height and weight are unknown. Meanwhile, police noting that 32-year-old Jason Clare of Faith Gardens, also pictured here, uh, who was also wanted for questioning in relation to a murder, has been captured. Police are advising the public that 58-year-old Anthony Stubbs, alias Ripper, who was wanted for assault with a deadly weapon, he too has been captured. Anyone with information that can assist the police in locating Laron Knowles is asked to contact 919-911 or you can remain anonymous by calling 328-TIPS, 328-8477. Speaking of the ongoing challenges with serious crimes, Free National Movement Deputy Leader Shannon Cartwright is critical of the Davis administration for what he perceives as their failures to address the crime issues. He questions some of the policy moves made by the Davis administration thus far. What has been the impact of the crime consultants? Why has there not been any significant slowing of gun violence in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas? The opposition has repeatedly echoed the sentiments of those calling for judges to limit bail to those who have been repeatedly accused of crimes but not yet brought to trial. We've also stated too that we recognize that it would be a judicial, legislative and constitutional issue that the executive and parliament must address. The government's crime plan is non-existent and they are failing the Bahamian people. After two years of the Davis administration, we see a deep commitment to optics by our executive, but little in the way of decisive action to deal with a consistent crime problem that threatens the Bahamian way of life. Mr. Cartwright went on to explain that he understands the frustrations held by both the police force and the judicial system. There is a constitutional right to apply for bail, and learned judges are often frustrated by an overloaded system that does not function optimally. Law enforcement must be given the full support of the executive and the legislative branch, and changing laws to better facilitate the operation of the system must be a part of the conversation. We call upon the government to urgently consider the crime plan and 40 recommendations presented to the government by the opposition in March of 2022. The FNM's deputy leader and shadow minister of national security reiterating the opposition's commitment to working with the government and the Bahamian people to address this crime crisis. And finally in this segment, the countdown is on for the IAAF World Relays with the event set to be held May 4th and 5th. Former Minister of Sports, now Chairman of the World Relays Local Organizing Committee, Dr. Daniel Johnson, spoke to reporters and describes the committee's current preparations. LOCs are working well. You see the stadium repairs are ongoing. The track, new track gets starting delay on January 8th. That's the end of this week. Um, the uh, teams come in. We're starting our National Sports Academy and everyone is ready to roll. Dr. Johnson says the committee has received a considerable response from countries set to participate in the championships and expects the relays return to the Bahamas to be the largest to date, with countries looking to qualify relay teams for the Paris Olympic Games. This will be the largest, largest amount of countries ever on this stage, largest amount of athletes ever on this stage, biggest show in world relays history ever right here in Nassau, the Bahamas, 4th and 5th of May, be there. Dr. Johnson is urging Bahamians to celebrate the event's return to the Bahamas after it was last hosted here in 2017. We'll take a break here. We'll be right back after these commercials. <laughs> 